Hi, yogis. Lizzie Lassiter here with a video about Viparita Karami supported legs up the wall, which is a transformationally delicious restorative pose. Hopefully you're here because you are already subscribed to my newsletter, lizzie.yoga, www.lizzie.yoga. What I'm sharing today is a sample, an excerpt from our course called Taking Refuge, which you can find at lassiter.yoga. It's a four session self-paced course. Each session is two and a half hours with lecture, some homework to think about before you watch the next session, and then some asana practice and restorative shavasana. Viparita Karani is a pose in which the head is below the heart, the brain is cooled, the belly is fed or stimulated, the belly organs are given time to heal. We know that restorative yoga is great for your immune system, for fertility, for your circulatory system for your emotional well-being, for your overall sanity, sanity, mental clarity. And taking a few minutes of silence is a wonderful way to feed your heart. I love this quote from mom that she just posted on her Instagram. I support you with my practice and you support me with yours. Restorative yoga is not selfish. It is absolutely a way of tuning your own instrument so that you are more present, more grounded, more generous when you in time with the people in your life. Viparita Karani is in the book Restore and Rebalance by Judith Hanson Lasseter. It's pose number 12 if you want to read more before I go. I'll just mention that I'm wearing two pieces from my spirit jewelry collection, which I designed myself, 3D printed, 3D prototyped, then they're handmade in India, and they come to you with free worldwide shipping. You can find them again at lizzie.yoga. Enjoy your practice. All right, uh, let's show us VK. Viparita Karani supported legs but Tell up us wall. who, give us contraindications too. If you are pregnant, please do not practice this pose. If you are on your cycle, like especially the first few days when it's, you know, when you're, when it's heavy, it's just the wrong, gravity and energetic for the flow things wants to go out and then this is up to inversions no inversions if you have a head cold if you have sinus stuff if you have glaucoma if you have uh, acid reflux if it doesn't feel good um, all of those students i would suggest you take a supta baddha konasana which would be appropriate yeah. Now we're going to move to the wall. So you move the short edge of your mat to the wall and you need a bolster to support your pelvis. So this is an inversion because the head is below the heart, but the pelvis is also elevated. So mom likes to say what is elevated is stimulated and what is lowered is cooled energetically, therapeutically in yoga. So elevating the pelvis, the belly organs, this pose is really great for digestion issues like constipation where, it, where it's too slow uh, can be really great for irregular periods. can be really great for fertility um, can be really great for um, turning your brain else? to the off position and then lowering the head cooling the head is turning the brain energy down so I would like it if you would lie on the round bolster and use the square bolster behind your legs with a belt and then you put a blanket folded long ways under your spine from the bolster. Will you do that? And an eye bag. Okay. So let me pin myself. Yes, I will do that. All of that. So I'm going to turn a little bit here so you have a better view. If you're practicing this pose with us for the first time, then I suggest you do what you can in terms of propping and then you can watch the recording or look at, and additionally, look at Restore and Rebalance, mom's book for additional information. Step-by-step -step instructions. Yes. So don't feel, it's a lot. This pose is quite complicated. Here. Okay. So is going so, on vacation, but you do that. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> 
There. I'm gonna put and a block to sweetness. I know, I know, I know. Good. I'm going. I'm going. This needs to be forever. Here. So this bolster is especially wonderful. The bolster I'm putting here on the wall is especially wonderful if you have hyperextended knees. So not everyone has that. So not everyone will need this. I think everyone needs it. I know, but I'm trying to leave space for people who don't have two bolsters now, mom, and they're panicking. <laughs> <laughs> they can have a belt. You're going to have a belt too. I'm folding this in half the long way. So I'm creating a long thin support for my spine. No, I think I what a lot of people do is they make it too close to the wall and it's not a hamstring stretch. It needs to be a little away from the wall because our primary goal is not to stretch your hamstrings right now. It's, 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 it's more the positioning of the, of the, the energetics of a waterfall. So there's a slant in your legs of the fluids come down, they soak the belly, they flow over through the chest and, and the whole energy just moves away from the brain and out the arms. And it's quite introverted and pleasant. Yes. Okay, socks. Now, um, one way to get into this pose is to wiggle in elegantly and try to go that way. But it's really nice to roll. You sit further back than you think and you come onto all fours, bring the hand closest to the bolster under, this is also in restore and rebalance, and you roll up. So my, it is a back bend from the bottom ribs down. So that, that the, your belly is flat and parallel to the floor and the pubic bone is dropping down. We, before you do that, ah, 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 ah. Yeah, let me just attach it. All right. I want you to show pubic bone up because that's what that's the major thing I see in this pose where people I believe are missing that alignment part which makes it so delicious. Okay, so it could pubic bone up is this. Yeah. It's a slant here. Yeah. Now what put watch this I don't can you see this seam on my type here? No. Okay, well then watch the my my hands here and yeah. here. I'm... Yes. So the tailbone's hanging down. And uh, you could use blankets under the, the body so it's lower, so it's less of an arch, as long as you have the proportions of... See how our legs are not all the way... <laughs> but it's consistent to come. <laughs> I'm glad I hope no one has never done yoga before they're looking at this going, no. That keeps <laughs> the feet warm. And I want to say why I love in the belt is just uh on on the floor side of the kneecaps, the knees. It's it's below the joint, it's more on the thigh. It's not, is that true? It's hard to see with yeah, the left. It's on the thighs, on the on yeah. the it's above the knee when you think about normally where you would think like between knee and hip. Not so between me and we, ankle. And we use the belt because if you just put your legs up there, there's going to be a part of your body, you know, muscles like your adductors and others that are holding your legs up there. And how do you know that? Because when you put the belt on, they completely relax. And I like the belt. Some people don't like to use belts. It's fine. But I like it because it it's holding the, the legs to the bolster. It's not just around the legs holding the legs together. It kind of, if you put it this way, it does both. And then the shoulders are hanging a little bit off the edge, which opens the top chest, drop your chin a little bit, pick your head up and slightly rotate your head. And you can of course always add a blanket to that if you want. I would suggest, can you lift, bend your knees, lift up and pull the round bolster slightly toward your head a little bit more because it's not under the bottom ribs as much as I would like. There you go. It needs to support the bottom ribs. That's a key. And, oh, that, yeah. Do you feel the difference, Lizzie? Mm. You like that? 
All right, so I'm gonna mute myself and we're gonna no, stay. No, don't, don't, don't mute your, we wanna, I mean, don't mute yourself till we start. Okay, I know. Um, so all that'll be happening is you'll just, if you look up, you uh, will just see Lizzie there doing this pose for a few minutes. And then
Inhale the breath. Exhale, bend the knees. Take off the, take off the belt and roll carefully and slowly to the side. And sit up. Ha, 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 ha.